initially when we do not have the experience and the knowledge to venture into a business, either we get it, get it right the first time or we get it from somebody who already has it. So there lies the first lesson. But I believe that if the taste is not right, then nothing can work for a restaurant. People can travel for far off distances just for the taste of the food. So any amount of marketing, any amount of uh, uh, you know, passion from the entrepreneur, if it does not translate into good taste, uh, it's not going to work, believe me. And secondly, into the team. I think most of the entrepreneurs make a mistake of first building the organization and then start investing into the systems and the team. So this is, this is something which we were very clear about, that uh, we need to invest in the systems and the team, and then we need to actually scale up the business. It is not possible uh, for a promoter or for the top management to you know, keep bullying the manager every day and you know, asking him for more and more sales. Till the time that that person is actually convinced and he feels that, all right, if I get X amount of growth, you know, 0.1x uh, or 0.05x comes to me as well. So I think, uh, as I always say that this might not work for everybody, but uh, hammering uh, will definitely not work. So that's for sure. So I think one important point is that you need to empower the people, uh, especially the, your, your manager, your restaurant manager who needs to manage a store which is, you know, 1,000 miles away from where you sit. You know, when people around you try to put you down, when people around try to tell you that you guys can't do it, uh, I think that is the time, if you have conviction in your idea and if your business model is carefully worked out, I don't think, uh, yes, it takes time. It might take time uh, that you reach your, uh, uh, your ultimate goal. And as Eric also pointed out, you need to start uh, with a clear uh, uh, destination. You cannot just drive around here and there. So I think it takes time, but uh, for all the uh, budding restauranteurs, my advice is that uh, be clear in what you want. Uh, of course, there is, there is a set of advantage if you go in for a brand. Uh, I think the biggest advantage, of course, is the brand itself. Then you have a lot of analytical support. For example, we at uh, Red Ginger Hospitality, what we do for the franchisees is that uh, we offer them uh, a lot of analytical support in your food cost. Now, just to give you a small example, you know, uh, uh, if you make, a, if you toss a serving of noodles uh, in the wok, that can be prepared in a teaspoon of oil, in two teaspoons of oil, in three teaspoons of oil. So it, the choice is yours. You know, at our houses, we all have different preferences. Now, uh, as a restaurant chain, if you are not particular about how much stuff is going into your uh, final product, you are going to lose big time. Because for, me, for, for the person who's making it, it's about one and three teaspoons. For me, it's about 1,000 and 3,000 tins of oil in a month. So that makes a huge difference. This is where, uh, you know, I think we at Red Ginger Hospitality uh, do a reasonably good job by providing uh, the analytical support to our franchisees. And I think secondly, most of the people who want to start a restaurant, uh, one concern they have is that, you know, what if my chef doesn't come tomorrow? I'll have to go and, you know, start cooking. How will my restaurant run? I'm sure. I think that's again uh, where uh, when you work with a, with a brand, uh, you know, which has 600,000 people working on its roles. I mean, you are taken care of uh, in case of any eventuality happens. Um, last but not least, I would like to say that if you take the decision to start your own restaurant, uh, it has to be definitely a passion has to drive it. But let me tell you, it's, uh, it's a very glamorous business from the outside, but it's equally uh, operationally intensive from the back end. So be prepared to dirty your hands and uh, I think then nothing can, can stop, uh, stop any one of you who wants to do that. Thank you so much for being patient. Mm -hmm.